Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Scorpio. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. So Scorpio, I've done your spread today with my big combined um, animal oracle and the good tarot put together in all one big deck because it's a lot of fun. So you're gonna see uh, a blend of the two decks in your spread today. Um, so Scorpio, we begin your reading here with the messenger of earth. And this, I feel very strongly, is a significant other in your life. This feels very much, this reading, if you're not in a couple, if you're not in a, in a long-term relationship, um, or maybe even a new relationship, if you're not in a relationship, this might not be for you, I feel very much like this is about a couple today. So this energy is coming through very strongly as an earth energy. They could be an earth sign, but if not, they're just embodying that earthiness of being um, very grounded, having deep roots set in, um, you know, they're very stable in their life. They have a strong foundation and they're unlikely to move anywhere very quickly. Just embodiment of pure grounded earth energy. Right, and then you're coming out here today, Scorpio, as the nine of air. You know, very different energy from this earth energy. You are coming in as um, really, actually, very calm and serene. The word that keeps coming to mind for me today when I think of you, Scorpio, is serene. It's like you are at absolute peace. I almost see this this as um you know she's like almost like lying on her back floating through the water you know that gorgeous um moment where you just find perfect balance and just floating on the surface of a calm water that's how you're coming through today scorpio but i see you as um you know this enter this card to me often comes through as the fool or the world even combined. So it's like an ending of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. I see you as about to take a, a step in a new direction, clearly. You know, she's at the she's at the the peak, she's at the precipice, and she's about to, in a completely trusting, blissed out state, take a step into the unknown, into a new direction. But then I feel like this partner of yours is stepping right in front of your path and saying, wait a minute, where exactly are you going? What is going on here? Is their energy coming through? The next two cards, the call and the fool, interestingly coming out together, um, you know, clearly the energy is coming, meeting, you know, almost like the energy is coming to a head. I feel like this is a, this is a really poignant conversation between the two of you. This one, you know, she has this, a horn and you have a horn. You're meeting here in the middle. You are, like I said, in this absolutely blissed out. Your hand is on your heart. You're saying, I am being called. I feel um, a rising up of my spirit and I need to move in this direction. You're just feeling, you're, I mean, you're almost levitating here. Your energy is just so light and at peace. Peace. Like I said, serene just keeps coming to mind. It's like you're just going to, to glide off into some new direction. It's, but at really gently. It's not like this, this racing energy. It's so gentle. Like I said, like floating on a calm water. You're just kind of gently, your spirit is gently carrying you in this new direction. And you're feeling really good about it. But then this one, like I said, it's like, both of these cards, it's like she's stepping into your into the doorway, into you know, blocking your exit, you know, filling up the, the doorway, saying, wait a minute here, wait a minute, what is going on? Where are you going? And you're focused on where you're going, and they're focused on, but what does this mean for me? Where are you going? Right? They're they they're they're thinking that you're leaving them, that you're leaving the situation, but that's not my feeling at all. You're very much being carried into a new direction, but I don't believe at all that it's even on your mind that you're leaving them behind at all. I don't get that at all. Because what comes out next with the patience and the nightingale spirit, I believe, Scorpio, that this is your response to this, this conversation. I feel like, I don't wanna say confrontation, 
but I feel like you are perhaps a little surprised at their reaction because to you, everything is really clear and really, um, like I said, really peaceful and tranquil. And to you, you don't, you don't see any issue. Like, of course we would move in this direction. Why wouldn't we? It feels so amazing. Let's, let's go. And they're, they're seeing it as you moving away from them, probably because they're coming in as this very earthy planted energy. So any movement, they're seeing it as moving away from them, but you're coming out, like I said, your reaction to this, confrontation or conversation or whatever dialogue about this um, upcoming movement this is your reaction patience and the nightingale spirit the nightingale says love is all around so again you're just coming out like you're not phased by their reaction even though it may be unexpected even though it may be um, challenging you in a sense you're coming in with the temperance energy which is all about um, the middle ground, finding balance, seeing how all of it can work together to make a really beautiful um, next chapter. You're, you're coming in saying, I'm all about the love. I'm all about this relationship. The relationship is not at all at stake here. That's not what I'm talking about. You know, you're talking about um, just following your bliss. Essentially, you want to follow your bliss. And your bliss is very much tied to this love connection. It's not one or the other. To you, it's all one thing. But like I said, perhaps because they're coming through as this very earthy energy, like I said, they could be an earth sign. You know, they're coming out next with this beaver spirit, like very much uh, about home, building a solid foundation. Like they could, they could be saying, you know, we need to move in together or maybe we have just we have just moved in together and now you're wanting to do this thing. And, and I thought we were all about nesting. I thought we were all about focusing on this right here. We have so much to do is the energy that they're coming across with. But Scorpio, you're coming in as this bat and eagle energy in response to their to their beaver energy to to me what this is saying is that you know your your earth partner is very much grounded in the 3d reality in practical matters but you're coming through here as very um tuned into the subtle realms you know the bat to me because they're blind to me that means you're not basing your decisions or your movements on um the five senses, the, the physical reality in front of you. You're tuned into a more energetic, um, subtler realm, a more intuitive, energy-based realm. And this kind of thinking and thought process makes you feel a bit stuck, a bit hangman, because you, you don't make your decisions that way. You make your decisions based on on the movement of your spirit, the movement of, in your soul. That's where, where you get your direction from. Um, and with this eagle spirit, I see it, this as you, as the eagle today is coming across as like their, their wings are just about to unfold. Like they're just about to launch, just about to take flight. But this, but this, um, this partner of yours is kind of, they're kind of pulling on you. They're giving you a little bit of this, this hangman energy is they're kind of holding on to saying, don't go. There's there's now three three energies here of them kind of getting in your way, stopping your progress. You know, and then again, the rabbit spirit and the squirrel, just more of them just being these, you know, nesting, burrowing, all about family. Maybe they're saying to you, like, I thought we were going to start a family. I thought we were going to start building our nest egg, building our home. They very much want to be about home and nesting. And you, I believe, with the stag spirit coming out next, what I'm getting from this, actually, and the dragonfly combined, these two energies together, is you saying, you know, the stag for me is all about, um, you know, it's a very, it is a very earthy woodland creature, but it's a, it's an earthy creature with all sorts of extra adornment, extra, um, 
extra senses, extra sensory abilities, a very spiritual earth being, right? Especially with this dragonfly spirit. And I believe that what you're saying to them is that, you know, we can do both. You're very much coming through with this temperance, patience energy about, about balance. Like we can do both. Even if we have just moved in together or are about to move in together, you're basically saying, you know, yes, a home base is nice, but we're also free to move and explore and do other exciting things too. We don't have to just be all about this. I think that perhaps they're very much focused on it because, you know, be, maybe because if they are an earth energy, this is really what nurtures them. It makes them feel um, very grounded in their spirit. It's, it's who they are. They're, they want to provide a, a comfortable home, a comfortable home base. And especially if this is just an energy that you're just moving into, you're just moving in together or just getting your, your home, you know, just, just deciding to have kids, you know, that phase of the relationship, they're very much about wanting that to be firmly established before any other energies can come into the mix, just for them to be very comfortable. But you're kind of saying like, we can do it all. We can do all of it all at the same time. We can have a home, but we can also be, you know, very um, spontaneous and adventurous and, and you know, more, more um, transient and, you know, wanting to explore and travel and move and be excited. But what they're excited about, what they're excited about is setting down roots. And you're, like I said, that feels a little bit too anchoring to you. You kind of, you know, it's like a, you're not against home. You're not against having a firm foundation. And you're very clearly very much about this connection. But you're, you seem to be experiencing, like I said, this rising up of your spirit. And actually, you know, the two seem very connected to you, this very earthy energy, but then also this very, um, you know, lifting up spiritual, you know, evolution and expansion. They're tied together somehow. It's like for you, I think maybe, you know, this, this earth partner of yours, this earthy partner, like I said, whether they're earth sign or not, they're, they're very much about being, being firmly planted. It's like they, perhaps that very nature of theirs, of wanting to create a very comfortable home, is what's allowing your spirit to soar in, in the way that it is. It's like this, this relationship is so gorgeously nurturing to your spirit that it is actually the cause of this rising up in you. It's like it's it's causing this gentle rising of your spirit that's making you, it's calling you, it's pulling you out in, in this other direction. It's very much in alignment with your soul, and but it's also very much connected to them. The two are almost inseparable. It's like this coming together with this one is what's causing you to levitate, to, to drift and move. And like I said, they're wanting to anchor it down. There's something about that, that moving up and out that's, that's, you know, making them uncomfortable because they don't, maybe they don't see how to you it's completely intertwined. It's an absolutely, it's the mixing of the two that is causing this gorgeous tranquility and serenity within you. So, and I don't think that they understand that. They're not feeling it in the same way that you are. So, Scorpio, if you see yourself in these cards, if this resonates with your situation and you want to see how it unfolds farther, I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended over on Vimeo. Link is in the description box. Um, and if not, I'll see you next time, Scorpio. Thanks. Bye.